New York City coffee shops. Holy sh**, are there so many of them? Literally everywhere. So this week I'm going to the most popular coffee shops in New York and I'm gonna test them out and rate it on a scale of one to three. Cause I'm sick and tired of food reviewers being like, I give this a mm, 8.7. Shut the hell up, what does that mean? Or like a, mm, a 6.3. Just say six or 6.5, babe. I'm gonna keep my scale really concise. One is terrible, two is okay, three is great. And then there's rare occasions where I'll pull out a four and that's like a God tier, like my taste buds are having an orgasm, but that's like, I'll, I will rarely use that. And I'm gonna be ordering the same thing at every single place, a vanilla oat milk latte. And I feel like you can really judge a coffee shop based on their cold brew or their espresso. So if you don't know this, I make my own espresso every morning and I already had like my latte. So I'm gonna be having like so much caffeine and I might die, but that's okay. So there are gonna be three factors that go into my score. Price, taste, vibe. A vibe is important for a coffee shop. Don't look at me like that. And then that will culminate to either a one, two or a three rating. All right, so I'm gonna be going to La Cologne, Blank Street, Variety Coffee, Stump Town, Felix Roasting Co, and Devotion. I'm probably not saying that right, but that's okay. I'm picking places that are unique to New York City. I'm not gonna go to places that I can go to like back home or, you know. So these are the ones I found and these are the ones I'm going to. All right, let's go. Okay, outside filming, which I literally hate, but you know what? I'm gonna do it for you guys. I hope you can hear me. I hope this is working. I should probably check. Let me do that. Okay, so the price of this one, why is this shaking? Oh my God, it's never ending. Okay, so the price of this one actually like wasn't that bad to me. This was only 545 and that's with oat milk and like self-serve vanilla. Like you could do it yourself. So I don't think that's that bad. Like a standard size. I love this cup. This cup is so fun, are you dumb? I'm kind of into like big logos now. I feel like everything was like so minimal. Like Blank Street, that's minimal. But this one's like fun, I don't know. Okay, so this is one of the lattes I've never had before, so I'm gonna be critical. Bitch just gave me the dirtiest look. The stares I'm getting from these Upper East Side moms I will kill you, and that's a promise. This is fucked up. This is fucked up. People do not like that I'm filming right now. I can't believe how long it's taking me to like sip this latte right now. Okay, let's do a little swirl. Um, it is. Um. I think I hate it. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's boring. The espresso is very one note. It's not very flavorful. Yeah, I don't like the espresso that they use. But it's not like the worst thing I've had. And I like the packaging. So I'll give this a two out of three. It's okay. I guess their variety is just one thing, one flavor, cause that's all I'm tasting right now. Yeah, not a fan. Actually, I I don't like it. I'm giving it a one. I'm giving it a one out of three. I don't like this at all. Okay, so I'm sitting out in the rain right now because there's literally nowhere to sit and I need to try these. This, this is my setup right now. I'm outside of Butterfield Market. It's wet, so let me uh, get this over with. Oh God, me trying to care. Hold on. Here we go. Here it is. Blank Street. This is one of the coffee companies that are is doing the minimalist branding, which is okay, but I think I prefer the variety packaging better. But we're not here for packaging, right? We're here for coffee. Hmm. Okay, he put a lot of vanilla in here. Oh my god, my straw broke. The flavor's good, like... Oh, by the way, this was 680. This is a whole like dollar and something more than the variety one, and it's the same size too. This is good. It's not the best. I think that they're using the flavor of the vanilla to like save it a little bit. But it's like bitch just hit my umbrella. 
and now I'm gonna kill her tonight. Oh my god, I'm drinking so much liquid right now, I have to pee like a motherfucking racehorse. And I might just pee on the floor, like it'll mix in with the rain, right? I'm gonna give Blank Street a 2 out of 3. <coughs> it's very sweet, but the flavor of the espresso is there. And the flavor's good, at variety, I don't know what the fuck was going on. The flavor was not good. It, it, it's been nice this whole week, like literally this whole week. And the second I'm like, oh, let me film on Saturday, Mother Nature's like, let it downpour that entire day. But honestly, that's my fault for not for filming literally the day before I edit. And I'm not wasting these. I'm drinking them all. So if I start to act like insanely fucked up and unhinged in about like two seconds, then um, you should just know it's a caffeine high. Okay, hopefully the next ones I go to have like seating because this is not it. Okay, note to self, don't go to coffee shops when it's raining out because everyone and their mother goes to the coffee shop to sit. So I have no seats ever, but that's okay. I found this outdoor little, not even, I'm literally under scaffolding. So is it, is it good? No. Okay, so here's what it looks like. They didn't have flavored syrups. And when I said the word vanilla to this guy, it's like his world came crashing down. Like he had absolutely no idea like what to do. He was like, we we don't have flavored syrups i'm like that's fine babe like don't act like i just said the world's ending like relax pretentious coffee people it's like girl figure it out like what are you doing like i don't understand so this is just an oat milk latte with um simple syrup again so obsessed with this cup so cute i really like it actually okay here we go wait mm. oh my god wait i don't even think i put simple syrup in that that's delicious <gasps> oh no mm. the espresso is so smooth and so flavorful and the oat milk is so creamy oh wait i'm gagged i'm about to go in there and scream like you guys killed it with this one this is a three out of three. Oh my god this is yummy this is the type of espresso where you don't need sweetener like that's how good it is and that's rare I really like this one. This one was also... So this was also $6.50. So this was the same pli price. This is the same price as Blank Street. And I think it's 80 times better. This is delicious. I really like this. Okay, so here I am at Felix Roasting Co. The company of roasting. And it's so cute in here. I'm literally obsessed. And yes, I'm filming inside the store. That's okay. I'm gonna do it. Okay, so right off the bat, you are paying for the ambiance of this place and the packaging. Because look at this innovation right here. Are you kidding? How cute is this cup? And the little lid? Mind-blowing. My monotone-ass voice, like, saying this, these exciting things. Don't even. So this is a vanilla latte. Ooh. Mix it around. Hold on. And the reason I mentioned you're paying for the ambiance is because this latte was $10. That's $4 more than, where'd I just go? Blank Street was, what was the cheapest variety? Yeah, so this was really fucking expensive. So let's see, here we go. Oh God. Oh no, it's fierce. It's really fierce, it's really fierce. It's so good. Like genuinely, it's like, gen it's like actually delicious but it's $10 for this. Like that's actually insane. And I don't think I can give it a three out of three. So I'm gonna bump it down to a two out of three because the price is just insane. But oh my God, it's delicious though. I'm literally obsessed. Okay, so I think my body's starting to shut down. Instead of the caffeine giving me energy, it's just completely eating me from the inside out because I feel actually ill right now. This is a latte I've had before. So Blank Street and La Colombe, I go to regularly because they're near my work and they're, it's just so good and never misses. So this is my latte, yum, paper straw dye. Oh, oh my God. I put no, there's no syrup in this. This is just espresso and milk. And the fact that it's not bitter, it's so smooth. The oat milk is not as creamy as Devotion, whatever the fuck it's called. 
so this is this was 680 so it's the same price as blank street and devote whatever this is delicious i love it i'm giving it a three out of three because it's so good and it's not 10 fucking dollars Okay, my last stop is Stumptown Roasters. We are in uh, Soho. So there's no seats yet again, and that just sucks. Yeah, there's nowhere to sit. So I'm just gonna do it right here in this area where I'm probably not even supposed to be, but that's okay. So this is a really small latte. This was $8, a little up there, and it's smaller than the others, I think. Like, this is not a small. This is like an extra small to me. And it was eight bucks, like, okay. Let's try it. Whoa, I just got a stare down from an employee. Oh well. Oh god. Oh no. It's fierce. Mmm. Not only is the espresso good, but the vanilla syrup. That has to be one of the best vanilla syrups I've ever had. I don't know if it's homemade or not. That's delicious. Oh my god, yum. Mm. I'm like in between a two and a three because it's expensive and the price is actually you know what I think it justifies like the flavor is so yummy I'm gonna give it a three out of three I'm sorry I'm giving it a three out of three this is delish bagish and I kind of knew this would be good because Stumptown supplies like other coffee places with like their beans so like they have to be good right if they're supplying other places i cannot finish this one i couldn't even finish a lot of cologne one because i get i'm getting like ill oh my god there's snot coming out of my nose oh my okay i literally have to look up like where i went because i'm a dumbass who has no short-term memory i had seven lattes today and for some reason I'm tired? Uh-huh, that makes sense. Coming in last place is Variety Coffee. Um, it was disgusting coffee. It was gross. The espresso tasted like shit, almost like dirty water. It was not good at all. And I don't know why people like it. I've heard rant and rave reviews about Variety Coffee and the variety is uh, bad, so. Coming in fifth place is Blank Street. It was good, wait, was it? <laughs> It was good, it was a standard latte. Nothing special, nothing crazy. It was just, it was good. It was okay. In fourth place is Felix Roasting, is Fe Felix? In fourth place is Felix Roasting Company. This espresso was insanely delicious. For some reason, the latte was $10 and, and, and change. It was like 10 oh something. And that's absolutely insane. And for that reason, I'm giving it a lower score. In third place is my tried and true La Cologne. It's just so delicious, so good. In second place is Devotion or Devotion or de whatever. This was phenomenal. They didn't have the vanilla syrup and he looked at me like I was insane when I asked for it. The coffee by itself with oat milk, yum. And in first place, which was, which surprised me because I actually was gonna skip this one because it was so out of the way, but Stumptown, it was like everything, everything worked. The oat milk was creamy, the espresso was tasty, and the vanilla syrup was probably one of the best vanilla syrups I've ever had in my life, and that's saying something. Mmm. I will be back to Stumptown, and Variety, I'll see you in hell. I hated it. Oh my god, it was it was not good. Yeah, not good. All right, so that's my ranking. And let me know what you guys want me to try next. I will be skipping next week because it is my birthday. Next Friday, the 26th, is my birthday. And I decided to not film it and just take the time out for myself. Because I got like two jobs right now. It's social media and then social media for the company I work for. So I do social media literally every second I'm awake. So I, there won't be a video next Monday, but the Monday after that there will be. So get over it. Whoa, I'm just dissociated I think.